I'm a huge fan of GitHub code spaces because I can have an immediate development environment just by clicking on code and then create a code space. That's going to open up the code space in a browser, which is good, but it's not great because you still have some of the keyboard shortcuts from the browser and some stuff just doesn't work out very well. So in a real world scenario, what I do instead is I have the code space all created and then inside of Visual Studio Code, I have the GitHub code spaces extension installed. Then here I do a control shift P and I just say code spaces, connect to code space. That's gonna load up all of my code spaces right there and then I'm just gonna select that one right there. Now I'm in Visual Studio Code on my desktop connected to the code space in the cloud. The specs for your code space are found in your devcontainer.json file here. You can say what extensions you want, what features you want, and so on. And if anything is missing here that you just cannot do in a devcontainer.json file, you can create your own Docker file that does things like here, installs the Azure developer CLI into that dev container. So to me, this is a much better experience than trying to run code spaces in the browser. But you also have the option of just running this in a dev container locally. So if you know that you're going to run the code from this machine at all times and you don't want a code space, you can just run this in a local dev container, which uses the same dev container configuration that you would use in a code space. So when you're on the repo, you can just click dev container open. What that does is saves you from having to clone the code locally and then open it in a dev container. So let's just click that button. It's going to open up Visual Studio Code automatically and open that dev container. One of the benefits of running in a code space is that you can access it from anywhere, any machine. So if you know they're going to be on the same machine, you could just use a dev container, run it locally, and just have pretty much the same experience. So here's that same project running in Visual Studio Code, but instead of pointing to the code space, we are running it inside of a dev container locally. The beauty of either approach is that you have all the dependencies already installed in your development environment. So you don't need to read me telling the user to say, install the Azure CLI or install Docker or install the GitHub CLI or install these extensions. Everything is already configured and installed for them. They just need to open it and run it. 